Hi, in this lecture, I will show you how to keep track of score and health. I will also show you how to play sound effects within our app. By the end of this video, you will be able to do this. So let's get started. Define an integer variable for score and set it to 0. int score equals to 0. Increment score every time the ball hits a duck. Score plus plus. Score plus plus. Next, define an integer variable for health and set it to 10. Int life equals to 10. Decrement life when any duck goes through the left edge of the screen. Life minus minus. life minus minus next we will declare a class label context object reference context context and initialize it with the context that is passed in the constructor this dot context equals to context when life becomes zero we will create an intent object put the score as extra into the intent object launch game over activity with the intent and finish the current activity if life less than one intent intent equals to new intent context game over dot class we will define this class later intent dot put extra score for name and the variable score for value then write context dot start activity with this intent object and finally we need to finish this current activity so write context and cast this into activity then call finish method if you want you can draw the score and health bar on the screen using the technique i have shown you in the ping pong game tutorial now let's add some sound effects to our game i will use four sound effects for duck one hit duck two hit duck miss and ball throwing let me copy the sound files and paste in res raw directory create a new directory name it draw and paste inside this folder next create four media player object references in class level media player duck1 underscore hit duck2 
underscore hit duck underscore miss and ball throw instantiate in constructor duck one underscore hit equals to media player dot create pass context and r dot raw dot duck one underscore hit duck two underscore hit equals to media player dot create pass context and r dot raw dot duck two underscore hit duck underscore miss equals to media player dot create context comma r dot raw dot duck underscore miss and finally ball underscore throw equals to media player dot create context comma r dot raw dot ball underscore throw play the appropriate sound effects wherever required if duck underscore miss not equals to null duck underscore miss dot start I will just copy this two lines and paste here here write if duck one underscore hit not equals to null then duck one underscore hit dot start copy these two lines paste here and just change this to duck two underscore hit next go to start game dot java and declare a media player object reference start game media player bg underscore music instantiate in on create bg underscore music equals to media player dot create this for context and pass r dot draw dot pg underscore music if the media player object is not null start playing the music if bg underscore music not equals to null bg underscore music dot start override on pause and on destroy on pause and type on destroy stop the music and release media player object there if bg underscore music not equals to null then bg underscore music dot stop and bg underscore music dot release i will just copy this code and paste for on destroy next go to game view and comment out these three lines
define a boolean variable called game state and assign true boolean game state equals to true when life becomes less than 1 change game state to false game state equals to false we will only call post delete method on handler when game state is true if game state run the app Perfect. So to recap, in this video I have shown you how to keep track of score, health and play sound effects. In the next lecture we will design and develop the game over screen, show score and implement restart feature there. See you in the next video.